Hello everybody and happy new year. I can't believe it is actually already the end of January. I'm really sorry that I haven't done a video in the last few weeks. Just been having little breaks to be honest and nothing's really been happening that exciting. We've just been getting back into the swing of work, kind of trying to find a little bit of routine to our weeks. I do, one thing I do like about the new year, um, I'm not so much into goal making and stuff like that, but I really enjoy um, like <laughs> filling in my calendar and making plans and like scheduling, I quite enjoy that. Yeah, so being kind of trying to get a bit of a routine to the week, which will hopefully allow me more time to do my work <laughs> in and amongst um, mothering Aoife, which is very demanding as um, with a 15 month old. I was speaking to a friend the other day and she was like, the more mobile they get, the more demanding it becomes. And everyone thinks like that first year when they're a baby is really hard, but actually in that first year, and yes, it is hard. In that first year, I managed to do a lot more work um, because she would fall asleep on me and I'd be like editing one-handed. And um, now it's like, you know, when I'm with her, I it's all, it's all about Aoife, especially at the moment because she just literally brings me books constantly and wants me to read to her. She's obsessed with reading. And as a result, her language is like really good for her age. I think she's picking up so many words. This morning she said honey, so many different words. She says backpack when she wants to go in the backpack and outside and oat cake. Um, in fact, I think I mentioned those things later in this video when we go on a walk. She's just growing and developing so much at the moment and I just really wanna like soak it all in. And then there's also times when I'm just like, oh, I just need a break and um, I just want to sit at my desk and do some work. I just want to edit a video. Like right now she's over at her grandma's house um, playing on the swings and just playing with grandma for a bit, which is really nice that I just get a little break. And Harvey, of course, also looks after her. Well, I say looks after her, he's her parent. So he, you know, but yeah, he does have days where he spends just with Aoife. Um, so tomorrow and Friday, I'll also have some days to myself. I wrote an Instagram post yesterday, actually, just about like how this year, I really wanna try and find a bit of a balance with kind of accepting mothering or like accepting that I actually really want to be a very, a very um, present mother and be there for Aoife as much as she needs me, but also trying to remember elements of myself from before I became mother and intertwining those into this new season of my life. Um, that doesn't mean being the old Athena because um, I'm a different person now. Well, I'm not a different person. I'm just a new version of myself. Um, as a mother, life is very different. Yeah, I just want to find a bit of a balance if, if that's even possible. <laughs> I think it's something that so many parents struggle with. Um, but yeah, my main focus for the beginning of this year at least is my Lake District guidebook. I know I keep going on about it and you probably are like, yeah, but when is it actually coming? And I'm actually, I'm really getting there. I've been working really hard on it over the last few weeks as well. We had some really nice weather. In fact, in the rest of the second half of this video, you'll see um, three walks that we went on last week, I think it was. It feels like forever ago, but it was just last week and the weather was just amazing and it was just really nice to be out exploring and Harvey and I even managed to do a solo walk, well, solo as in just the two of us without Aoife, um, definitely wasn't baby friendly. So um, that was amazing to kind of get back into the hills, just the two of us and do something a little bit more challenging. But yeah, I am hoping to get my book out by the summer and I'm already like booking in a week with my sister who is really good at doing like interior photography. She's a photographer um, and she's particularly good at like interior photography. So we're gonna be going to loads of pubs and cafes and getting those shots and yeah, I feel like everything's kind of starting to fall into place a little bit more with it, which is really exciting. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited to have it out and share it with you. And I have lots of other ideas as well. Um, that I've kind of been put on hold until after I get this book out. So I'm also kind of looking forward to getting the book out and then being able to like pick up other things um, as well. The other big task for us at the beginning of this year at least is to finish our van conversion. Harvey's actually gone up to, to our workshop space today to do some work on the van, which is really exciting. Um, we are getting there very slowly, but surely we're getting there with it. Um, it's just a very 
very demanding long process. The same as the Lake District Guide, the same as parenting, we have these three very demanding things that we do in our, that we're trying to do in our life um, and balancing all three of them while also trying to like take care of ourselves is definitely a challenge but um, yeah we're getting there with the van and I can't wait for it to be done and do some really exciting van trips this summer. Um, I'd love to take Eva up back up to the Outer Hebrides, that's like been a dream of mine since I was pregnant. Yeah so that's um, those are like our kind of main projects for the beginning of this year and then YouTube of course I would really love to try and do a video a week for you guys and that might mean um, for me kind of accepting that not every shot has to be perfect. I love filming with my big camera which I'm filming on now and getting beautiful nature shots but I might end up picking up the little G7X a bit more and just kind of vlogging and intertwining that in with the really nice nature shots. Um, anything in particular that you guys would love to see from me this year. I know like some of you love the home vlogs, some of you love the walking stuff and I think I've, I've often struggled with like I suppose this channel is just my life, our life now as a family. And so I've tried not to dwell too much on like trying to stay too niche into one thing. Like I definitely sometimes think, oh, maybe I should just film walking or hiking or camping, or maybe I, I should just do the home stuff. But actually my life is a mix of the two. So I've always loved to share um, both of those elements of my life, the kind of indoor cozy like stuff and then the outside hiking because to be honest I think that's a bit more authentic and realistic to to just like a real person living life like I'm not out in the hills all the time um, but equally like that is a big part of my life and my job so I love to just intertwine the two and that's I suppose how I'm planning on carrying on this year. Um, something I have been thinking about is that I would really love to share some more informative content in my videos to do with either to do with hiking with kids or like the places that we're going or um, like gear for myself and Harvey. What would you guys like to know about? So it might just be a mixture of all of these things, um, but I think that I'm just gonna try and intertwine them into videos more and keep it quite casual and then maybe sometimes make like specific videos if I really wanna share like very, something very informative. But I think the best way to go about it is to kind of like casually intertwine in informative stuff, which I hope I kind of do anyway, but, oh, but I wanna make like a bit more of a concerted effort to do that. I hope you guys all had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Um, it feels like forever ago now, but I have to say I loved this past Christmas. It was a really special time um, to be with family and especially like seeing Aoife that little bit older, like pottering around. We'd say, where's Santa? And she'd go and like point at the Santa in the fireplace at my mom's house. And I'm already really excited about next Christmas. Um, she'll be two, which is just kind of wild to think that, but she'll definitely be soaking it in even more. Um, yeah, it's just a special time, isn't it? And I often feel a little bit overwhelmed in the new year, and that's another reason why I haven't filmed as much. Um, I kind of had a bit of like moments of anxiety and like, oh God, like how am I gonna balance everything this year? I ended up kind of turning down some really big exciting projects in order to focus on um, on just finishing my book and just parenting Aoife and finishing the van and just those so many things that I'm already trying to do and taking on something new was just that a little bit too much so I was a bit disappointed to have to turn that down but actually I think it's the right thing for me and yeah that is just that is just life isn't it it's just finding that balance between kind of everything that we're doing and also enjoying life and relaxing and having a cup of coffee and a chat with you guys. <laughs> but before I go into the rest of the video, I just wanted to say thank you to Squarespace for supporting me again this year. They're gonna be um, supporting my videos throughout the whole year, which is amazing because as you guys know, I use Squarespace to run my business website, also my personal blog. We use it to run our store, 
um, our membership platform, our newsletter. We use so many elements of Squarespace and I think it's just an incredible platform. I'm really excited this year about continuing to grow the Ramble membership, which is a subscription service that you sign up for and then you get access to all of the Ramble guides that I've been building and growing for the last like six years now. If you run a business, I think building a member area through Squarespace is a great way to monetize your expertise and content, offering something more exclusive to your customers, whether that be videos, online courses or newsletters. And if you guys want to try Squarespace for yourself and make your passion project a reality, start a website, start a blog, whatever it is, then just head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash Athena Mella for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you in another one very soon. Um, here's to a great 2023 for all of us, one in which we all find balance and peace and just be a little kinder to ourselves and get out walking in the hills as much as we can. <laughs>we decided to try and leave really early and basically we um, Harvey and I got up early before Aoife woke up and we put her in the car in her pajamas she was awake um, the whole way here but she was fine and I've mentioned on Instagram that she gets travel sick so we didn't give her any food before we left and she was actually fine and she just had like had a little like OT bar um, maybe like an hour into the drive um, so we've ended up getting here quite early for us <laughs> um, what did we leave at half seven? Yeah, about Something that. Something like yeah, that, yeah. left about half seven and it's now almost 10. And that does, probably doesn't sound that early, but it is early when you've got a baby and in winter when it's dark and stuff. So yeah, that's worked really well. Um, so we're just getting you for ready. We've had our breakfast. And yeah, then gonna head off on our walk. And I was just saying it's really funny because the car next to us um, just pulled up <laughs> yeah. with a couple inside and they literally got out of the car, put their boots on and off they went. And I was like, oh, remember when we used to do that? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> We set off walking and noticed that Harvey's in his t-shirt. Well, a base with a, layer. With a base layer. Yeah. yeah. 
and his sleeves <laughs> rolled up. Yeah. And I'm wearing two merino base layers crossing a river. <laughs> I'm wearing two merino base layers, <laughs> a wool jumper and a down jacket and a hat and a buff. I mean, I just um, run hot, don't I? Yeah. But I also have my, uh, my Findra Merino uh, leggings oh, yeah. on as well. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to bake. <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's, it's we're not out the wind here. Yeah, we so are. It's actually really, very nice. Yeah, we were thinking of going up Glaramara. We've been trying to do this walk for ages up Glaramara from Seathwaite. But um, the forecast had given really high winds and a lot of wind chill. So we decided to do this like lower level walk. We only go up to like 450 meters, I think. Mm. If we go up to Great Crag. <laughs> Are you giggling? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, uh, just um, got a bit better to stay low. I mean. Yeah, but actually like here, there's like no wind whatsoever, so. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Just got up to the summit of Great Crag. Aoife's fast asleep. So. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> um, it's beautiful, snowy mountains. Let me show you. Yeah, we were just saying, weren't we? Like, it's a great spot because A, there's no one here. Yeah. It's sort of, you know, it's not as well known. And B, you've just kind of got all of Borrowdale, all the hills all around you. Yeah. It's just such a great vantage point yeah it's like an amazing viewpoint without it actually it's not very hard to get up here like it's yeah it's, it's a little bit of a climb but it's really not that bad at all no, um, no that's great yeah it's amazing i mean i suppose you drive kind of most of it don't you up to uh, yeah up to you drive park. quite high up yeah 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 so just trying to like pick out all the peaks so we can see from here so we've got glaramara there we've got seafweight and then go up honester pass and then there's Gillicum, Gillicum Buttress. I don't know what this is over here. Haystacks over there. I think that's either Haystacks. Is that Haystacks there? It's just such an amazing viewpoint here. You're literally just looking out on like all these amazing high peaks in the fells, in the lakes. Um, without even being that high like so we're at great crag now i've probably already said that um which is a wainwright and yeah it's just a great spot <sighs> that little island's probably a good a good snippet of what this landscape would look like if if there wasn't sheep or if it wasn't grazed <laughs> So we've just dropped down into the woods and we're going to have a little break. I've um, got the pack mat out, putting Ethan's boots on um, so she can have a little walk around. We're going to have a sandwich, aren't we? Do you want to have some food, Aoife? Should I take her suit off? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's take her suit off so she can roam around a bit. That'd be nice. <laughs> so we had Aoife in this Columbia um, suit, which is synthetic, like it's an insulation. It's really nice and cosy. And then she's got on her mid layers, which is wool leggings and this little Patagonia jacket. And her base layers are merino wool leggings, obviously wool socks and a wool top as well. And she's got a wool Findra buff on and we're gonna put her boots on now. She's basically part sheep, isn't she now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Wall is just so good, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's the best. You shed a light that guides me home. Chicken tomato sandwiches. Yummy. It's a hat. It's a hat for a squirrel. It's uh, so nice to be out in the hills once again, out into the lakes. It uh, just feels like ages since we've been out, actually, properly. Uh, just the weather has been pretty, pretty horrendous. We've had a lot of rain uh, since December. Uh, that was a lovely cold snap, but we were just like super busy. And uh, so we've been a bit slow off the mark, but it feels good back into a new year, back into a kind of fresh drive to get things going and moving. Uh, Christmas period is always kind of just a great reset really. Uh, a bit of downtime, a bit of contemplation and uh, yeah lots, lots going on in the new year. Lots to do and so yeah it feels good to be out, out and moving again. And uh, I think this week is, the weather's looking pretty good actually, sort of cold, bit of snow, uh, low winds, um, so yeah hopefully this week we should be able to get out quite a bit. Uh, we've got no work on in other places so that's always handy and um, yeah, so great to be back out and it's turned out to be a a great day, so uh, yeah, we've been very lucky. Taking my jacket off for the first time today. <laughs>
downwards. This age that Eve is at now, she's just taking so much in from the surroundings. She's like picking up words a lot at the moment. Um, so she's saying Baba and tree and sky and like there's so many things that she's looking around and seeing and, and talking to us about. It's really nice, isn't it? My favourite words, Eva says, at 14 months old, are uh, oat cake. Can you oat cake? Oat <laughs> cake. Outside. 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 Backpack. Backpack. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know what are your favourite words. Oh, I don't know. Those are the best. Ladder. Ladder. She likes climbing the ladder. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> straws <laughs> it's finished so we're just back at the van now after our walk I think what time is it it's three o'clock so we were out from like half ten uh, yeah half ten till three um, had a really nice walk I was just saying to Harvey on the way back that Today's just gone really well so far, which is really nice because yeah. our walks don't, don't always... I know, I really don't want to jinx it because we've still got the journey <laughs> home and as I mentioned, Aoife gets travel sick. Anything could happen, but today's gone really well so far. Um, we just had a really nice day. It was really great that we left really early and then got here early-ish and managed to like leave early. And the walk was really lovely. Aoife fell asleep for the first bit. We had a lovely lunch. Um, yeah, it just all gone really nicely. No meltdowns, uh, no tantrums, apart from she doesn't like it when we put her suit on her, but it wasn't really a tantrum. It was just a little protest. Um, but yeah, these are just normal things with a toddler. They just happen, a, a baby toddler. Um, they just happen, so they're very normal, but it is feels like a small win when you just have a really great day. And even when stuff does happen it's still really nice but you know obviously it's <laughs> it's even it's even better when we're all just really happy and yeah also got two dinners because he didn't eat his breakfast Eve is eating veggie straws and we're about to hit the road and go home <laughs> oh. 